Visitors and locals were out in their numbers in the newly refurbished space. Minister in the Prime Minister's office with responsibility for culture, Senator Dr. Chantal Monroe Knight, reminded them of the importance of the space and keeping it clean. If anyone approaches you, whether they be thorns or roses, and they ask you why the government invested $5 million in refurbishing Oysins Bay Garden, tell them that the government did it because you deserve it. Tell them that the government did it because it is the vendors, the craftspeople, the people in the fish market, the everyday Barbadians who have made Barbados. We did it for you. We did it because you deserve it. Senator Monroe Knight has also outlined plans for the site in the future. When people want to know and feel and taste what Barbados is about, they will come here at Oysins Bay Garden. This is what we are doing. Everybody knows that Oysins is going to be one of the fan zones. Come out again on June 13th because, again, we're bringing the, the sweet limes here to Oysins. A cultural hub is what we are creating in Oystins. And chairman of Oystins Bay Garden, Inc. Kimar Harris, has given the words the thumbs up. The drainage issues that we were having at the back road, we don't have it anymore. I want you to walk through the space. Don't take my word. Walk through. What I will say is that money has been well spent in Oystins Bay Garden. Following the speeches, the crowd enjoyed a special edition of Sunday School from Lil Rick. Rianne Phillips, CBC News.